Hello everyone, welcome back to another coin collecting video. And today I'm going to be talking about how to figure out what 1982 Lincoln penny you have. So in 1982, if you don't know already, they changed halfway through the year, they changed the metal that they made the pennies in. So they used to make them in mostly copper. So they actually made it 95% copper and 5% tin and zinc in like 1982 and before for the copper pennies. But then in 1982, they switched to copper plated zinc. So just zinc, but just copper plated, which was cheaper. And like the core of the penny, so not the outside, uh, is 99.2% zinc and 0.8% copper. So that's a lot less copper than what we used to have before they changed. So it does weigh a lot lighter. So in 1982, the copper pennies weighed 3.11 grams and the copper plated zinc ones weigh two and a half grams so but there's also different like date sizes and that confuses everything because then they have like small date large date then they have copper and then zinc and it's just really confusing so there is some supplies that you need uh, to be able to do this because I can't just you're gonna have to do it like it's not like you can just see what I'm doing and do it now I would recommend doing that but it's not like you can do it because you also have to have your own pennies as well so if it'll focus it's not wanting to there we go so you will need a jewelry scale and the one I have is by East Sky I think and it's 1000 grams I don't know. I don't really know it. it. It's so I can go like really specific with the grams um, to be able to tell. So I would recommend getting this one. It'll be in the description below. Um, and then I would also recommend getting either one of these, which is just like a single eye like set to be able to like see. That looks really cool. Huh. That's weird. But like you can just kind of look at it and pick it up and hold it and look at it. Or you can get, you can go really extreme and get one of these. And what this is, it's called a double loop set and you put these this on your face it has two lights so that you can look closer at the coin and there's also replaceable batteries but there's comes with a different some different lenses as well which is really nice and you can put them in these cases I, I'll link to it like I said um, so yeah you can go one of two ways with this or this I believe this is like $15, so it's not that bad though for that. Okay, so since we know that you don't have to get a red book since I'm telling you how much they weigh, um, which I would recommend still getting a red book. Um, you don't have to get an updated version if you can find like an older one cheaper, but I think they're like $15, so they're not that much. But just, yeah, just you, you should get one if you're a coin collector. So in 1982, I said like with the copper ones, it weighs 3.11, so that means if I can grab, let me see, because I know which ones are which. I put them out in a certain order so I know. So if I grab a copper one, this should weigh 3.11. Okay, 3.2, 3.3. You need to make sure you tear and then you do it. Okay, 3.1. So it doesn't go completely into the 1.1, one, one, but it still works. So 3.1 and then the zinc one should weigh 2.5. 2.4, 2.5, um, as shown right there. So we know the scale works, but now how do we figure out the date size? Well, right here is a large date, and right on the other one is a small date. And let me go into handheld mode really quick to show you guys the difference. So if you look here, 1982. Okay, and you look here, 1982, okay, now if I show a side by side of that, you can definitely tell one is barely bigger than the other. And it's like that for all of them pretty much to where you can tell, okay, that's probably a large date. Maybe that wasn't a large date. But you eventually you can just kind of look like glance at it basically. 
and be able to tell which it is, like that's a small date. So yeah, you'll be able to tell because that's the small date and that's the large date. And I believe that on the small dates, so on the large date, if I can grab one of the large date ones here, there's a trick you can use to be able to tell. So the eight on the large date, the eight on, you see where it says like 1982. Well, the eight actually goes above the nine for the large date. And on the small date, the eight is like flush with the nine. So that's a small date because it's like even with the top of the nine. But then this one on the other hand is a large date because it goes over the nine. So that's also a hack you can use to be able to tell which coin you have. So yeah, that's a pretty cool hack you can use. So all you need pretty much is the scale. And you may just be able to use one of these or you may be just be able to glance at it. Like it's not terribly difficult to see once you know what you're looking for. But a lot of the information I got, actually all the information I got was from the red books. Like you can see like where it says the thing about the date size, it says the weight, like the composition right here, um, tells you that there's a large and small date variation. So yeah, like it's really cool. And also these books have like openings for copper large date, copper small date. And then 1982 zinc large, zinc small, copper large, zinc large, zinc small. Like it's really in-depth book here. And it's just, it's really nice because there are seven different pennies from that one year. Normally there's just two because normally just if you collect Denver and Philadelphia, you can also get San Francisco, but Denver and Philadelphia, which I believe are the only two that are produced that aren't like, you don't have to buy. So normally, like, I just collect Denver and Philadelphia, but if you only collect Denver and Philadelphia, there's a lot of different variations here. And I hope this video really helped you guys out because I was really confused for the longest time. Um, and there are a couple of other years that have large and small date. I'll make those videos whenever I have both types of those coins. For example, 1960 has small and large date. I'll make that video whenever I get both 1960s. Right now, I only have one of them. Um, I don't have the small dates. I have the large dates. I don't have the small dates yet. Um, so yeah. And in 1970, they also, for San Francisco, they did that as well. So yeah, just large date, not like composition differences. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video though. The things I used was the red book, this one scale. You obviously have to have pennies. Um, you can use this or you can use this. If you're starting out, I would probably just use this. It's like you can get live for like five to five to eight dollars or something off of, off of Amazon. But yeah, that's pretty much it though for this video, guys. I hope this video helped you guys out. If it did, go ahead and comment below how it helped you, or if you have any other questions or video ideas for me, gladly appreciate all you guys comment about in the description. I mean, in the comment section below. In the description, I'm gonna link to everything that I used here. Like I said previously, at least I think I said it earlier in the video. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it for this video though. If you liked the video, leave a thumbs up on the video and if you haven't already go and hit the subscribe button hit the bell to be notified whenever I post more videos and like I said that's uh, that's pretty much it for this video so thank you guys so much for watching and as always keep on collecting